Like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Reet Main's stupendous save joins Australia's list of capital moments June 15, 2022. 3.50 p.m. save login. Register or subscribe to save articles for later. Share normal text size larger text size very large text size 30 view all comments ain't sport grant. After 120 minutes of regular and extra time in Tuesday's World Cup qualifying match between the Socceroos and Peru, journeyman goalkeeper Andrew Reedmain was more anonymous than a wrong number. But now look. Having just come on to replace the goalkeeper captain in the final minute of extra time, the Ned Kelly lookalike starts prancing around the goalmouth trying to put off the Peruvians in the penalty shootout, moving from side to side while jumping about and waving his long arms. At home, Australians lean into the television. What? Who? What is going on? Who is this bloke, did you say? Why is he prancing about like that and... And wait. Soon after Australia miss their first penalty shot, Reed Main perhaps gets a hand to one to even the score with the Peruvians. This doesn't yet save the day, but it gives us a chance. As the Australian and Peruvian shooters continue to shoot, Reed Main will have to do it again for Australia to win. And now the Peruvian sharpshooter Alex Valera steps up as Reed Main prances. Feeling lucky, punk? Am I going to dive left or right? Valera skips in and draws back his boot. Reed Main dives. Valera connects and hits the ball left. Even as Reed Main dives, Right. He's got it. He's blocked it. Australia win, and are off to the World Cup, courtesy of a bloke most of us have never seen before, or heard of. Reed Main's open mouth look of pure delight, will also linger long. George Cregan makes a famous tackle against the All Blacks in 1994 credit, Tim Clayton but this was not just Reed Main's Cregan moment, as my wife calls them. The single act that would define his career and be chiseled on his sporting tombstone, a large George Cregan's famous tackle on Jeff Wilson at the SFS on August 17, 1994, to win that Bledisloo. Oh no, it was bigger than that. It was one of Australian sports capital moments, where something is so important, so beloved, so pivotal in the course of events that it will forever after be referred to with capitalised reverence, in this case the save. It is possible that a few years from now Australian soccer will be teetering on the edge of the abyss of World Cup elimination and a Socceroo goalie will step up to save the day in such dramatic fashion, but it feels unlikely, yes? Far more probable is that the save can now be added to our other capital moments, the pass. You remember it well, yes? It was the blind pass David Campes gave to Tim Horan in the semi-final of the 1991 World Cup with three All Blacks about to hit him. Campo shaped to move the ball left, only to somehow flick it right, blind, over his shoulder to Horan who went over unmarked. I have watched it in slow-mo 50 times and still don't quite get it. And as I have said many times, before Campo did that we had never conceived such a pass was possible. The rugby league equivalent was Benji Marshall's flick pass to West's Tigers teammate Pat Richards in the 2005 Grand Final, which helped put the Cowboys to the sword. Carrying the ball in his right hand, while moving left, Marshall flicked the ball blind to Richards moving right, allowing Richards to go through for the try. The ball of the century. I know it. You know it. It was Shane Warne's ball to Mike Gatting. The first delivery worn bold in the 1993 Ashes campaign, at Lord's. As you'll recall, the ball bit the turf miles outside leg peg before hissing in, buzzing ten times around Mike Gatting's stumps, all the while whistling waltzing Matilda, before putting the brute out of his misery by dropping down to knock his bales off. As a foundation stone for the subsequent worn legend, his Gregan moment coming with his first ball bold in an Ashes test, they don't come much better. The goal. Socceroo attacker John A. Louise nailing the winning goal in the penalty shootout against Uruguay at the Olympic Stadium to qualify the Socceroos for the 2006 World Cup. Not since 1974 had Australia figured in the biggest sporting event on the planet. 
the try. Steve Jackson's try in the 1989 Rugby League Grand Final between Canberra and Balmain. I have written about it too many times to go into too much detail again, but it was in the final minutes that the Canberra reserve forward, as anonymous at the time as Andrew Reed Main, got the ball on the right side of the field 25 metres out, only to break through several tackles, shimmy, shake, bump and bulldoze his way to the line for the best try in the history of the world. The race. Kathy Freeman's gold medal win in the Olympic 400 metre final at Sydney 2000. Nuff said. The mark. I am advised that nothing will ever get close to Alex Jasolenko's.